almost two-thirds of women in Africa are employed in agri-food systems, food crop producers, agro-dealers and agripreneurs, processors and distributors, they work alongside catering to the nutrition, health and well-being of their families. Troubling fact. Women's capacity to shape resilient, sustainable food systems and contribute to their transformation is severely hindered by social and systemic challenges. Women and girls around the world are sounding alarms on the discrimination they face across the board. Africa has not escaped this calls for action, neither has its food systems. Women in Africa are more likely than men to be food insecure. Lack of access to land, inputs, information and technology, finance and employment opportunities severely undermines women's role in food systems. Gender inequality is both the cause and a consequence of food insecurity. Tackling the inequalities facing women is not just a moral imperative, but an economic incentive. There have been some continental-level efforts evidencing commitment to gender equality. Some relevant policy frameworks include the Strategy for Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment, the Declaration on Land Issues and Challenges in Africa, the African Union's Gender Policy, and the Protocol to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights on the Rights of Women in Africa. Still, significant challenges remain. Transforming food systems to be more inclusive will require approaches that enable women to make their own choices, participate and benefit equally within food systems. Achieving this requires learning from best practices across the continent for replication and scaling of gender-inclusive policies. The 12th report of the Malabo Montpellier panel seeks to highlight government actions that are driving progress in empowering women and strengthening their meaningful participation in food systems. Bridging the gap. Policy innovations to put women at the center of food system transformation in Africa draws on the experience of four systematically selected countries, Ethiopia, Ghana, Rwanda and Togo focusing on their policy and institutional innovations driving systems level change and transformation. The Malabo Montpellier panel of experts makes a couple of critical recommendations. African policy frameworks leverage a strong track record of commitments by the African Union and regional bodies to enhance women's position in society and in the food systems through coherent action. Inclusive behavioral change to accelerate the transition to non-discriminatory governance structures at all levels. Programming interventions must also sensitize boys and men to the challenges that undermine the empowerment of girls and women to foster an understanding of why gender equality is mutually beneficial. Political representation to address deeply rooted systemic inequalities and to ensure that policies are designed to meet the specific needs of women. Women must be equally represented at all levels of government, in decision-making processes and food system services. As Africa approaches its post-Malabo declaration era, we are delighted to present to you a policymaker's playbook for insights into comprehensive, gender-inclusive and evidence-based interventions to empower women to shape the food systems they want. Here's wishing you an enjoyable read.